Hello, welcome to this video. This video is on lab ordering inside of Socrates. We're going to go through the prereqs that you need and how to do lab ordering itself. There's a few things that you need on your machine before you can start lab ordering. Number one, you need to be on the latest version of Socrates. Uh, as you can see up here at the top left hand corner, my version says 2931. I am on a testing version of Socrates, so my version may look higher than yours. The version that you need to be on is at least 2.9.2.10. The next thing you need to have on your machine is a printer that you can print to. So you can tell what printers you have by going into your devices and printers and make sure that your printer that you want to print to is set as your default printer. Next thing, you go into Socrates up at the top left hand corner and go Edit Preferences. And from here, go to your Printers and Scanners. And under the Investigations tab, make sure that you have a chart printer selected. Say OK to that. Next thing, you need a HealthLink certificate. If you're not sure you have a HealthLink certificate, you can go to the HealthLink website, www.healthlink.ie and click on sign in. If you don't have a health link certificate, this window will not come up for you. You should see the name of your practice and it says health link certificate and when your cert expires. You can also check inside of Socrates itself by going up to edit preferences, clicking on the investigations tab and from here you should see client certificate. If it's blank, just check to see if you have anything in here if you don't, then you will need to order a HealthLink certificate from HealthLink themselves. Now your practice may have a HealthLink certificate installer somewhere to hand. The practice manager or the head doctor might have got an email from HealthLink with the HealthLink installer in it. If you're not able to get that, get in contact with HealthLink directly and they will be able to send you an installer. Now the Bowman will send you a document with all the information on that you need to complete. There will be a cover letter explaining everything, but as you can see here, there's some things that you need to do. As you can see here, health link certificate, printer, etc. And then here you got a section here called testing the system. You're going to have to do a test lab order with the Bowman. Two things are happening with the Bowman Labs. One, they're doing lab ordering. Two, they're also changing to a new software called Medless. These two things will happen at the same time. When this happens, you'll only be able to order labs via the lab ordering section. On the cover letter you get from the Bowman, it'll explain that you'll need to create a test patient to do a test lab order. You will be doing this before it goes live. You will need to send back the information by post. Once again, this will be explained in your cover letter. To do a test lab order, you need to create a test patient if you don't have one created already, and you need to have at least two lines of, it, of an address. Some micro results are going to be split up into two. Example, the urine culture and the microscopy will send results as distinct urine culture and urine microscopy. You need to ensure that you view both in conjunction with one another. Okay, so we're now going to go in and do a lab order in a chart. We go into the patient's chart and we begin a consultation. Next, we go to the investigation section over on the left panel. From here, we either click on lab or order on the left panel, or we click on orders over on the right panel. From here, you can click on new order. This is where we'll select our hospital. You'll notice it looks very similar to e-referrals. So we select the hospital. We select referral as lab order. I'm logged on as Dr. Joe Bloggs. So if you're a doctor logged on, it will default to your name. If you're, you are a nurse logged on, you will select 
the doctor that you want as the name of the doctor ordering the bloods. That way the bloods will come back underneath this doctor's name. Same as in e-referrals, if you have a surname, if you have referred to the hospital for lab ordering for this patient before, their name will appear here. This is the first time we're doing this, so I'm going to click on create new patient if not found. It's now after creating the patient on the health link side. And it's brought in, as you can see, name, date of birth, address, phone number, mobile. Hospital is the bow mount. Emergency phone number and clinical details. So in this example, I'm going to do diabetic blood order. So under clinical details, that's what I'm going to fill in here. Next thing, I'm going to choose what bloods I need. There's a section here called Select Lab Order Favorites. So you can create your own favorites for orders that you will do commonly. The orders available to order electronically are the most frequently requested orders as agreed by GPIT. You can see here Priority 1, Priority 2, Priority 3. So you choose whichever blood you need. So under priority one, just for example purposes, I'm going to select HbA1c, lipid profile non-fasting, and liver profile. As you can see, the three blood orders that I've requested are up here at the top. Other bloods, like as an example, INR, you will need to select some more information. So if I choose something in here and go OK, it'll appear up here like the rest. And if you want to remove one that you've added in accidentally or you decided you don't need, you click on the little remove button just to the left. As you can see here also, you've got the specimen collection, time specimen collected, priority. Also down here, you choose information here if needed. I'm not going to change anything here, so I'm going to go to the next section. These are the only three that I want to order. So I click on review over on the right side. And this is what I've asked for. So if I've made a mistake or I want to add something else to it, I can go back to amend test and I can add, remove, apply whatever changes I need and go again, review. In this example, I'm happy with what I have here. So I'm going to click on commit order. This is just going to see, see, please provide the following and you just need to supply these. Say OK to that. From here, it's going to ask you to print this. So just to move this down slightly to show you the information, this is what's going to get printed. The patient name, the information about the doctor, what bloods I'm ordering, and there's this special barcode and numbers underneath it. So now I'm just going to send this to my printer. That's gone to the printer. Print that off. It goes off with the bloods. Now, if you have a problem with your printer, maybe it's run out of ink, you, you can do this. You can close out of the lab order, and this is what it's after creating. You can fix your printer, then come back in here, double click on it, and you can reprint over here top left corner to the printer to print it off again. If you realize that your printer is broken possibly, you can go into another room, double click on the lab order and send it to the working printer in that room. I'm just going to do this in another chart. I want to show you the favorites for lab ordering. So I'm gonna go consultation, new consultation, So test labs too. Begin consultation, investigations, click on lab order, select your hospital, create a new patient. Okay, so same screen as earlier. I'm just gonna click on manage favorites over here. So manage favorites, just so that we can select these are the previously created lab order favorites. 
So I'm going to go manage favorites just to create a new one, delete one. So from here, um, I might want to create a new one, I create a new one. If I want to remove one, and if I want to edit it, click edit, and to delete this, I just click on delete. So to create a new one, just click on create new list, give it a name, or whatever it is you want to call it. You can put it in as maybe a doctor's name if you just want to have bloods that you want underneath your name. Next. Then you just include whatever bloods that you, you want. So I'll just do the same as earlier. If I want to remove one, click remove. So I'm going to click on review here. And over here on the right hand side now, I have the option to save to favorite. So now I have one in here, same name as earlier. If I go back to my lab order, I can then go and choose this as my favorite one. So diabetic bloods, it just tells us to fill in the clinical details. So whatever it is you want to type, you type that in there. Then you continue on as normal, print it off, etc. I'm just going to close this. To see what lab orders you've done, you go into my control panel, result viewer, and on the left hand side you click on awaiting. From here you can see the lab orders. Whoever downloads bloods under communication lab messaging, they download electronic messages. They include bloods, responses to e-referrals, CDM, etc. They also include the responses for the lab order. That finishes the video on lab ordering inside of Socrates.